Now to two accidents in less than two months, one of them deadly at the very same intersection in Oregon City. Police say distracted drivers caused both of those crashes. KGW's Catherine Cook has more on what the city and neighbors are doing to make that intersection safer for people crossing there. The red flags at this Oregon City intersection are meant to be noticed. Not so much in their zip-tied canisters, but rather carried by people crossing Pearl Street and Malala Avenue. The person who put them here was thinking of 52-year-old Josefina Rojas, killed, police say, when a distracted driver hit her in April. Regulars here say they see a lot of distracted drivers. This lady in this Jeep, she wasn't paying attention. She was like on her phone and she almost hit us. Oh, I tell them that people are looking out for you, that you have to look and pay attention to yourself. You have to keep your ears and eyes sharp. He hit the ground hard. Sort of like what Aiden Popovic's mom tells him. Don't text and drive. And always wear your helmet too. It's one of the things that saved my life. Aiden was crossing the same intersection on his bike Friday when police say a woman looking at her cell phone hit him. We're airborne now and I think I'm gonna die. Aiden got away with a fractured ankle, cracked hip, and thanks to Oregon City Police, a new bike. Very unexpected. I'm so appreciative. Aiden's mom can't bear to wonder what could have happened. Just thinking about it makes me start to cry. I, it, the reality hit, and to think that my son, I could be burying my child because somebody was careless. We want to do all we can to kind of prevent future incidents. Oregon City Public Works Director John Lewis says his department studied the intersection after Josefina was killed. He says the city will work with the county to improve signage, update walk signals to include countdowns, and adjust timing to give people more crossing time ahead of cars. It's a priority for us, so we want to get it done as quickly as we can. I'm hoping within a couple of weeks. For now, there are flags and a reminder to look up. Yeah, I'm hoping that brings attention to drivers through there. Catherine Cook, KGW News.